All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to stream to Uscreen using Zoom as your encoding software. So to get started, I'm gonna actually go to my live event section. I have an event already created here. We're gonna click on edit, and then we're gonna to go to the stream tab here. And I'm gonna enable pre-registration just so I can actually see this in my catalog here. Uh, it's not publicly visible because I haven't added it to a category at this point, um, but I'll actually grab the stream URL and then we'll head to, uh, to Zoom. And we're gonna click on new meeting, but before we do that, just note that it is possible to actually create meetings um, using a static URL, um, but don't do that in this case. Uh, Zoom has kind of has some quirks to it where as you enter a stream key and stuff like that to Zoom, if it's for a reusable uh, stream URL, um, it's actually not gonna be changeable. So as you know, in Uscreen, every time you have a new live event, there's gonna be a different stream key. So you need to actually create a brand new meeting or webinar that has a unique ID every time you do this. Now, so we'll click on uh, join here. We're going to then go to this more section. Now, if you don't have this and you might not because it's off by default, you're gonna need to actually go into your Zoom account and then just go to my account and click on settings. And I'm just gonna search the page for stream. And there's these four options here. So make sure this custom live streaming service is checked and that it's enabled over here. Otherwise, yes, you won't see this more option with this live on custom streaming service. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and click it. And then we have that streaming URL that I've copied to my clipboard. We're gonna paste that in. We're gonna go back to you screen. We're gonna grab this stream key now and then paste that in. And then finally, it's asking for the live streaming page URL. This one's a little trickier to grab. Just go back to your live events list. And then we'll actually go to the three dot menu over here and click copy link. And then that's what we'll paste in. It's doing this so it actually opens it in a new tab here for you. And if anyone's watching a Zoom and they click on join the live stream, it'll open this page here. So what we'll do, we'll go back to the Zoom test event here. We'll click on the stream tab. And now that that's done, I'm just gonna click on test player. And we should see our feed start coming in. So you'll note that it just says my name, and that's normal just because I'm not actually sharing my camera right now. If you have multiple people in this Zoom event, you'll usually see some options up here, like whether to show the speaker uh, as the main view to show a particular person or show a gallery view where it shows everyone. Whatever you set there will then be reflected uh, back in Uscreen through the stream. So what I just did there in Zoom now too is I, I'm gonna share my screen so that you can actually see this uh, switch over. It takes about 10 to 15 seconds. There's a small delay there, which is normal. Um, you'll note that one kind of downside of streaming through Zoom is that it's gonna have your logo in this bottom corner here, which you might not want. If you're using other tools like OBS or StreamYard or Ecamm, you can actually put your own logo in the corner and it's actually quite nice doing that. So now it's here, you can see that I am streaming. We're actually then gonna go live here so that on our catalog page, if I refresh this, I should see the live stream. Uh, one thing maybe I wanna do here, let's just go back and enable live chat. So I just wanna tell you about maybe the experience that you might be expecting in Zoom, but actually what appears in Uscreen. So in this case, um, I'm not, as far as I'm a user, there's no really relation other than this logo to Zoom. They're just seeing a feed of what you're streaming over and the live chat. So in Zoom, if they were actually in a, in a Zoom meeting, they could share their screen, they could share their camera, that kind of thing. That is not possible here. This is just a one-way stream. So you're using Zoom as an encoding software to send your webcam or your desktop to Uscreen. Of course, we've got an awesome live chat here, so that kind of replaces Zoom's live chat, um, but there is no camera sharing here. So they're gonna be watching you or your you know, group of people that you have in the, in the Zoom event um, streaming to this. So hopefully that gives you an idea how to use Zoom. If you have any questions, just let us know and we're happy to help.